Hey folks, Sheila here from Design Files. I just wanted to pop on with a quick video to share a great new update that the team has added to the Design Files system. So I'm really happy to say that you can now use the order tracker without having to create purchase orders. You can bypass that whole step. So we had a lot of requests from our members who wanted to be able to use the order tracker, even in those cases where they just never had a need to create a purchase order to begin with. So we've gone ahead and we've made that update. So now when you come into the order tracker, you don't always have to create a purchase order first in order for those items to show up in the tracker. Now you can just go ahead and click this button right here within the order tracker to add items directly from your project. So if I click this button, it's going to open up this panel and it's going to show me every single item that I've used within this project or that I've included within this project. And I can just click the checkbox next to the item that I want to add to the order tracker. You're then going to click the button at the bottom to go ahead and add it. And when I do that, I'll just scroll down here. Okay. So this item was for visual comfort. If I click to expand that, I'll see a small image of the actual item, the item name. I'm going to see the SKU. I also have the ability to increase the quantity here. Now this quantity option is only going to show for cases where you've pulled in directly from your project. If I had created a purchase order for this particular item, then I would have already indicated on the purchase order, the quantity. So it would just automatically show, but if there's no document tied to it, you will see that you have the ability to bump up the quantity here. So if I want to, I'm just going to go ahead and add that. And then over here, you're going to see all the individual columns where you can track this item. You can track the status of it. So I could go into the field here and say, okay, I ordered this. Let's say I ordered it today. I'm just get, gonna indicate the date and I can add any notes that I wanna add. And then you'll see that you can also add dates and notes to any of the other columns here. So as the item is shipped, delivered or installed, you can indicate those dates and add notes. And that'll give you and all your team members one location where they can see all of the information they need about these particular products. Now, if you want to include a tracking status for an individual item as well, so let's say I had four or five items that I ordered from Visual Comfort and maybe three of them are ordered and two are back ordered, whatever the case may be. Um, if I want to indicate an individual tracking status, I just click here for this item and then it's going to show me all of the tracking statuses that I can apply to this product. So in this case, I'm just going to say that it's ordered. We're going to update the status and then you'll see that it shows right here. Now, I mean, that's pretty much it. That's really, it's that simple to just go ahead and pull items directly from your project into the tracker so that you have that one location where you and your team can just come to see all the orders that you have on the go and make any updates that you need to make. Now, the other thing that I just wanted to bring to your attention, because I think it's probably going to come in really handy for you, is that you also have the ability to add in custom columns to your order tracker as well. So you've got your standard columns right here, but if this doesn't fully cover your needs, for instance, let's say you wanted to have uh, another column where you just want to include the tracking numbers. If you want to do that up here at the top, you're going to see there's a button with three dots, click into that button. You'll see there's an option for configuring your order tracker. And then these are the columns that are already kind of the standard ones that are available. But if you want to add a custom column, you can go ahead and do that. So we'll just say tracking number. And then here I get to choose if I want this field to be a field that includes both text and a date picker, which would look like this, or if I just need this to be a text field. So in this case, I just need the text field. So I'm going to add that, save the changes, and then you'll see that tracking column that's going to appear here where I can add in the tracking number for any of those items. Okay. So I think that about covers it for the updates that I wanted to share today, uh, for the order tracker. So yeah, if you've been wanting to use this because you've got orders that are on the go, you want to have one location to track everything, but you just didn't have a need to create POs for every single item. Then now you can start using the order tracker within design files. You can still create POs for them. Those items will automatically be added to the tracker. But for those cases where you just don't need to create a purchase order, you can just go ahead and pull the item directly from your uh, project, add it to the order tracker, and then go ahead and track that particular item all the way through to installed. Of course, if you have any questions at all about how to use this new feature, well, not new feature, but this latest update, uh, then feel free to reach out to us on the live chat. We're always happy to help. Thanks for watching.